Muffin. Is that your name? He's like, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it's other stuff. Hey guys, I'm Jess. This is Bauer. And today on View Pop, he's trying to eat my face. Stop it, I have to do an intro. And today on View Pop, I'm going to show you what I take with me on the plane when I travel. Not a carry on. And it's not him. <laughs> so this is what I take when I fly anywhere because it is so much easier to fly with a backpack than with a purse or a big tote or whatever. I don't care what any girl says, this is the way to go. It's so much easier. I just plop it on my back and I go. So this, whoa, look at it, how cute it is. This backpack is actually from Walmart and it was only like $18. I've been using it for a while now. It, the back of it is kind of padded, so that's super nice on my back. Um, it does have a super cute tassel right here. I can't really hold this up very well. Maybe I take my computer out. So there's a really cute tassel on it. Woo, tassel. And then I also recently put on this right here, which I'll just take off and show you because that is easier. Oops, she just totally fell off. But she is Ariel, yay! She's so cute. And she's, I don't know where she is. I found her at TJ Maxx, she was $2. So I bought her and I put her on my backpack because I thought that would be cute. Let me put you back on my backpack. So I have been traveling a lot more recently. I feel like I'm starting to get a hang of it. So I'm gonna show you what's in this little pouch right here in the front. Um, we have snacks, snacks galore. Oh, the healthy stuff is Michael's. I don't, I don't eat healthy stuff. I eat fruit snacks. <laughs> That's what I eat. I eat like a five-year-old. And I also have some chocolate in case I need some sugar because sometimes I don't feel good if I don't have enough sugar in my systems. And especially when you're getting up super early and you don't eat anything and then you get on the plane and all they give you is like some peanuts. Like, come on. So I have tons and tons of food in here. Um, I also have granola bars with chocolate in them. I love these kinds. So yeah, I just pack tons of different things in here. I also have mints in here. Get all back in there. Cause I'm gonna be leaving in another two weeks. So might as well just keep it in there. I like to have an assortment of snacks with me because I get hungry and they don't give you that much on the plane anymore. I remember back in the day, once I was sick on the plane and we had a huge layover cause like it was icing or something and I had the flu. Yeah, that was not fun. And the stewardess gave me ice cream with the chocolate hardening stuff on it, the chocolate shell stuff on it, made my day. So thank you, whoever you are out there. I don't know your name, but she was super nice and I really liked her. I don't know what's going on with planes here lately, but I fly Southwest. <laughs> and no, this is not sponsored by Southwest, but I love Southwest and that is what we travel on. We are very plain specific. So the inside of here is basically just a black hole of a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna pull it out and show you what's inside and then you'll know like what I take and stuff. So when I travel, I always take my laptop. Um, this is the MacBook Pro. Yeah, I've had one of these before. This is my second one. I bought my first one back in college because obviously I was going for design and everyone designs on Macs. So I bought it and I love it. This is my second one, like I said, I edit everything I do on here. Yeah, I do everything on here. I don't do anything on like a desktop. Definitely need that. These are my headphones. I use, um, I don't know what, like if they're, they have a special number or something, but these are the Bose headphones, which are sound canceling. So when you're on the plane, I just hit a button and I can't hear all that sound that is constantly happening. So it's really nice and I can hear everything really, really well on these. These are actually Michael's and he got a pair that you just put in your ears right there. So he didn't want these anymore because you know, they go like this. So he gave them to me and I use them all the time. Especially, they were so awesome. Um, if you're traveling like, a long way like when we went to Italy and England and um, Germany I use these on the plane because 
it's so much it's so nice not hearing all the the plain sounds you know what I mean and then I can watch my movies in peace looking like this but I don't mind them being like the old school like over your head thing I feel like they're more secure that way I don't know I'm super weird about certain ones in my ears like the ones that come with the Apple iPhone, like they just stick in your ear. Those hurt my ears so bad. So I always give those to Michael and he like loves them. I don't leave home without my Bose headphones. I wish they were a sponsor as well, but they're not. <laughs> I take a small wallet with me. This is Betsy Johnson. And I don't take a lot with me. I only take a debit card, a credit card, my license, because you can't get on a plane without one and some cash just in case. But I take a debit and credit card in case one of them gets declined because you're out of state. So some like some banks will see that you're in a different state and think it's suspicious activity on your card. So that's why you have to notify your banks ahead of time when you're going to a different state, just so they know so that they, they can let transactions go through. But I've done that before and like sometimes it still gets declined for whatever reason, so then I just use the other card. So I like to be prepared. <laughs> I don't know why that was like so long-winded, but it's just a tip I do just, just in case, because you never know what's gonna happen or if a card will get declined, if one won't. So just take two and you'll be safe. And if you have cash, that's even better. So I definitely take some cash because some taxis, some places don't um, have credit card all the time. I also take a case for my glasses. My glasses aren't in here currently because I was wearing them last night. I think it's the cost. Is that how you say this brand? I had prescription glasses from them ages ago, like 10 years ago, and I just kept the case because it's really nice and hard so that my glasses don't get smushed. This is a Nipsey bag. So this is VIP, very important products on it. It's really cute. I've kept it because I've kept almost all my bags because I like to put cords and stuff in these bags. So right now I have my charger for my phone in here. And I normally also put the charger for my computer in here as well. And then when I need to get them, they're all like wind up in here and it's super easy to find them because they're in a bag and they're not just like loose in my backpack unwinding themselves. So if you have tiny cords, put them in tiny, tiny bags. It works wonders, it really does. I have another glasses case. I don't know where the heck I got this one, but it looks like a banana. Don't you think? It's very banana-like. So this has my sunglasses in it. Um, I got these from Forever 21. I'll show you what they look like on. They're really cute. I don't know how much these were, like probably like $6. Forever 21 has really cheap sunglasses and I lose them a lot. So I try not to buy like super expensive ones. And also hard case, it's the way to go. So I have another bag in my bag, in my bag. Um, this is a Bessie Johnson. I think you can like, it's a wristlet as well but it has a cute little lollipop on it and then it says, you, you're a regular horse. Me, I'm a unicorn. Our Macy's recently went out of business and they had this, I don't know, it was pretty affordable. I think I paid like 10 or $15 for it. I think they're originally 25, I don't know. But I saw this at Macy's, I don't know if they still have them cause it was a while ago, but I like the pink stripe on it. And I also like it. Cause it holds a lot of my stuff in a stripe inside as well, like black and white stripe. So I'll show you what's inside here. I have Colgate wisps, just in case. You never know when you're gonna need a wisp. I'm very practical when packing. I have my medicine. Um, I don't know, I think I got this a DSW, but it's super awesome because it has all these different little things and you can put whatever medicines you want in there. But I, I think this is just ibuprofen. <laughs> Cause I get headaches a lot whenever I'm traveling. I have Smile Brilliant. Um, I did a video on this a while ago, like whitening my teeth with Smile Brilliant. I put it, I'll put it in the cards up here because they're on this side. But I recently had an incident happen. Cause I wear a, a mouth guard at night. That's like super geeky, right? But I, I guess I clench my teeth 
whenever I sleep. So, so basically it was like making my bite off and then I would get these horrible pains on the side of my face. It's horrible. Don't clit your teeth when you're sleeping. But I had a mouth guard made, so that totally fixed the problem until Bauer chewed it to death. He got a hold of it somehow, some way. He's sneaky. He's like a ninja. And he got it, went under the bed, <laughs> and was gnawing on it. Most expensive chew toy ever. So I didn't have it. He did it, <laughs> he did it like two days before we had to leave to New York. So I was like, oh, I have this, <laughs> this smile brilliant whitening tray. And I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, it just looks it just looks like your teeth, basically. Um, they're custom fitted to your teeth, so you take a mold of your mouth, and then like I don't know, five days later, you get one of these in the mail. You get the top and the bottom, but I just needed the top so I wouldn't clench. And it did actually help because the dentist needed time to make slash order my mouth guard. But now I have one and I'm really happy about it. This was working, but it wasn't quite cutting it because it's not as thick as a mouth guard. Do you have a mouth guard? Do you know what I'm saying? Has your dog eaten it? He said it happens a lot. This is a lip balm. It's Mullen, Mullen and Gotez. I don't know, but I just take it with me. I think it came from Ipsy. And it's a really good lip balm. It's Mojito lip balm. I got a hair tie. Every girl can't leave the house without one. And neither can I. And I have some hand sanitizer from Bath & Body. This is Island Nectar. And that's what it looks like. It smells really good. I don't even think they have that scent anymore. God knows they don't have those that packaging anymore. I recently bought some new ones of the hand bacteria. And they're like circle-y dome like I don't know but I bought some new ones I also have a sharpie and it's silver because you never know you might need a sharpie and I also have another lip balm this is all bio I don't know AU this lip balm is ten dollars don't waste your money it's not that good if your lips are super chopped by the visine tube it's white and the tap and the top of it like the little twisty part is blue it's like a dollar something works miracles this is not worth it don't even do it but i take it with me <laughs> i just stick it in here like most of the stuff i just leave in here and then i leave it in my backpack and whenever i'm about to travel i just grab my backpack and put the rest of the stuff in there that i need and yeah i just kind of keep it together because we travel kind of frequently. Um, what else do I have? Oh, a choker. <laughs> Yay! I was wearing this in New York and I just put it in here because I didn't want to wear it home. But yeah, that's everything in this little bag. Like it holds a lot of stuff, which is awesome. I of course have my cell phone. I don't leave home without it, especially when traveling. That's my case. It's super cute and sparkly. And then I have a pop socket. Um, it's in Galaxy. And I think this is an iPhone 6S Plus. And I have these little bags. Um, so basically, I have one. This is Michael's. He's got a blue coat, which fits inside this bag. And mine's black. And they roll up and literally fit inside this bag. This is the coat. It's just like one of those puffer coats that zip up. And the brand is 32 degrees heat. I got this from Macy's for $60 and I love it. It's warm, it's really warm. I don't think I could wear it in like Antarctica or something like that. But if you're just if you're just traveling around and you need a coat and here you go. And it can fit in here. So it's amazing for traveling and it looks pretty cute on too. I'll show you, I'll model for you. I'm modeling. Ugh. I know I'm wearing like black on black on black so that's what it looks like and it does have a hood but I zipped it off so it's awesome and it's just one of those puffer coats it has um, the down in it so it's pretty warm what's in my pocket oh if you if you're in New York stay at the Lux Hotel um, it was an awesome hotel. And what else do I have in here? More lip balm! 
I don't even know what brand that is. They are awesome jackets and they are great if you are constantly on the go because you can fit them in here because they're so like compactable. It's amazing. And Michael does have a blue one. So I have his in my backpack too. <laughs> Most of the time. That's all I take with me on my carry-on. Um, obviously, I do have a check bag with all my clothes and stuff in it. But yeah, I hope you guys really, really like this video. If you did, make sure and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, comment below if you have any video suggestions that you would like to see from me. I love video suggestions, and I write them down in a notebook, and then I try to get to all of them. <laughs> And if you haven't already, make sure and hit that notification bell down below so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you're not friends with me, find me right here. And be friends with me. And check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos. And make sure and click that button below to subscribe. Bye, guys.